Hi there, today I'm going to be going through how you can overcome the 500 row limitation imposed when you're trying to bring data in from Google Sheets to Zapier. So as I'm sure a lot of you have already encountered, which is why you're watching this video, when you try and use the Google app within Zapier, it limits you to 500 rows when using either the get many spreadsheet rows action we can see the 500 max limitation here, or the lookup spreadsheet rows action, which is also limited to 500 rows at a time. So in this blog post, I will show you how you can use JavaScript or Google scripts within a Google Sheet and webhooks to overcome this limitation. And don't worry, this is a lot simpler than it sounds, and I provide the code necessary so that you can just plug and play and put it into your own Google Sheet. And the method I describe in this blog post of using JavaScript or Google Scripts and webhooks to send multiple rows from Google Sheets to Zapier is effective when you want to import less than 10 megabytes of data into Zapier, because according to Zapier, if you try and import more than 10 megabytes, then you'll get a 413 status code error. So if there is a use case where you need to import more than 10, megabyte, 10 megabytes of data, then I recommend taking a look at the Zapier Google Sheets Quick Start Guide because I have some methods in there that will allow you to import more than 10 megabytes of data. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Google Sheet that we'll be using as an example in this video. So we're using the customer database Google Sheet here, and we can see we're just pulling in a list of first names, the order numbers, their email address, their phone numbers, and then finally, whether their order will be delivered today. And the first thing we're gonna do within this Google Sheet is we are going to create a Google script. And as I mentioned before, this is a lot easier than it sounds, so don't worry. The first thing we are going to do in the sheet is go to Extensions, App Script, and then we are going to click on the plus icon here. You can see I already have a few scripts in this sheet, but we're going to add a new one. We can call it whatever we want here. I'm gonna call it send, I already have a send rows. So I'm gonna call it send underscore rows. And then in the blog post here, all you need to do is go to this link copy all of this code and then paste it all into Google Sheets, hit save. And now I'm just gonna give you a quick run through of what the script does. So this line here just gets a reference to the sheet we want to pull the data from, which in this case is the customer database sheet, this one here. And then this rows variable is going to store all the data we get from this sheet. Then we initialize four variables, the names, orders, emails, and phone string. And then we are going to use a for loop to cycle through each row in this Google sheet one by one. And in the case that the delivery today column is equal to true. So when using JavaScript, the indexes start counting from zero. So what I mean by that is this is index zero, one, two, three, four. So here we are accessing the fourth index in row number I. So the fourth index is the delivery today column. And when this is equal to true, we'll come in to this section of the for loop. So therefore, the overarching goal of this for loop is to only populate these four strings when the delivery today column is true. If you don't want this extra bit of logic in your code, you can just delete this part here and the corresponding curly bracket here. So you can see if I mouse over this curly bracket, this other one here lights up. So you can just delete this and 
delete this. And now when your for loop runs, it will pull in every single row in this sheet, no matter what the value of the delivery today column is. However, if you do want the delivery today column logic in there, then just leave this in. Now to show you what this inner part of the for loop is doing, I'll show you what the output of these desired four strings is. So I'm going to run the script here. And we can see the value of the four strings, the name string, the order string, the email string, and the phone string. We can see each of the output values that we want. And this is what this inner part of the for loop achieves. So in the case that the delivery today column is equal to true, we want to take this value, add it to the name string, take this value, add it to the order string, take this value, add it to the email string, and take this value and add it to the phone string. And then we want to repeat this for each row where the delivery today column is equal to true. So our for loop will go through every row in this sheet, make this evaluation to see if delivery today is true. And if it is true, let's add each of these four values to their four respective strings. So we can see that the first time we come in to this section here, we check to see if the name string is equal to nothing, basically. That just means it's empty. If you put the two inverted commas with nothing in between, you're just asking, is the name string empty? If the name string is empty, let's just store the name in the name string, order in the order string, email in the email string, and phone in the phone string. However, the second time we come in here, the name string will not be empty. It will, it will have a value already in it, like Tyron1. So then we want to take whatever value is already in the name string, add the asterisk character, and then let's add the new value. Let's add the new name to the name string, like Tyron3 here. And then we'll come into this section again. There's already a value in the name string, so we don't come in here. We go to the else statement here, and then we'll take whatever is in name string already, which will be Tyron1 asterisk Tyron3. Let's add another asterisk, and then let's add the new name, which will be Tyron6. And then we repeat this for all four of the strings each time the delivery today column is equal to true. And then the output after this for loop runs is these four variables where we have all the names, order numbers, emails, and phone numbers for anyone with a delivery today, all joined together with the asterisk character. So then replacing these four print statements with our original code, this next part here just gets the timestamp variable. And then this final part here will send a webhook to Zapier. And the URL we get here is from the catch webhook step in Zapier. And I'll show you how to get that later on in this video. And then basically all that's going on here is we are sending the timestamp value we get from here and the four string values that we calculated up here. We're sending all of these to Zapier. So then once Zapier has all this row information, it can then parse it and use all this information to do something useful. You what the output looks like in Zapier. I first want to show you a cool trick. If you want to create a button like this so that when you press the button, this Google script will run, all you have to do, all you have to do is go insert drawing, Go to the text box, type in your text. Let's just call it button for now. You can give it a snazzy background. You can make the text bold if you want to, and then go save and close. And then all you have to do to assign a Google script to your button is click on these three dots here, go assign script, and then the value we put in here is the name of the function within Google Sheets. So it's here, it's this send rows that we are going to copy and paste in here, click okay. 
So now whenever we click this button, we can see that the Google script will run. If it's the first time you're running a Google script in your sheet, you'll have to give it permission. So then you just click continue and the script will run and send all the information to Zapier. The way we capture this information in Zapier is using the catch hook action. And this is where we get the URL of where we need to send the information to. So it's this value here that we copy and paste into the URL field here in our Google script. And then once we send the information from the Google sheet using that button, we can see that we get all the concatenated values, which we created using the Google script. And then if you want to see how you can use that information to do something useful, like send an SMS to each person whose delivery is today, as well as sending them an email, then check out then check out this Zapier loop through array from Google Sheets post, because I've got another walkthrough video in here, which is the create loop from text video in Zapier, which walks you through this Zap and how you can achieve that SMS and email notification for each person whose delivery is today. And if you want more information on integrating Zapier with Google Sheets, I've got a quick start guide here. And if you want more information on how you can loop through all the values you are sending from Google Sheets to Zapier, then check out the Zapier for each loop quick start guide post that I set up. Have a great day.